Darcy, you're gonna help me get that for free? What now? Hey ambitious friends, I am so excited to have you here with me today. So first things first, we gotta do a self check-in. How are you doing today? Because although we're running our businesses, we do not want our businesses to run us. Now that you let me know how you're doing, don't forget to comment with what business you run and why you decided to run it. I'm gonna give a few of you a shout out in my coming videos. Also, make sure to be looking out for my free step-by-step -step guide in terms of how to create an LLC for free. So today, I am going to talk about the EIN and how you can get your EIN for your business for free. I'll walk you through it, tell you everything you need to know about it, and we'll make sure to get it all taken care of right here, right now. But before we jump into it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Everyone needs to know that they can get their EIN for free. So you may be wondering, what even is an EIN? So an EIN is an employer identification number. It's also called a federal employer identification number and a federal tax ID. So it goes by many names, but what it really is, is a social security card number for your business. So why do we need an EIN? It's gonna help you hire employees and pay those employees. It's also gonna help you build business credit, which is gonna be so crucial down the line when you're expanding your business and also to open up a bank account. So everyone needs an EIN, whether you have a multiple members in your LLC or you're a single member LLC. Everyone who owns a business needs an EIN. So you might be wondering, when should I even get an EIN? Well, you should get an EIN once the state or your business formation service company lets you know that your business is formed, which congratulations, that's so exciting to have your business formed. But once it's formed, then you need to get your free EIN to make sure it's attached with the right business. Now that you know what an EIN is, why you need it, and when to get one, let's go into how you can apply. You can apply for an EIN online through the mail or by fax, but online is the easiest way that you can apply. How much an EIN costs? So if you get it through the IRS, you can pay $0 for it. It's completely free. But if you try to get it with a business formation service, they're gonna charge you more than $50 for it. Just to give you an example, Inkfile, which is really big in helping people form businesses, charges $70. And even Zen Business values an EIN at $70. So Inkfile and Zen Business are on par with how much they charge for an EIN or how much they value it. So you know that, hey, I don't wanna pay for an EIN when I can spend 10 minutes online applying for it and get it for free. So let's jump into it. So now we're on the IRS website and we're gonna apply for our EIN online. So we're gonna exit out of that, and then it's gonna ask, do we need an EIN, and do we need a new EIN? So we are forming a business, or an LLC today, so yes, we do need an EIN. So make sure to read up on the EIN assistant and the restrictions, and then hit continue. And then we're gonna go down to limited liability company, as that's what we are establishing today. We're establishing LLC. So we're gonna hit continue. And then we need to read up on information about LLC. What is it exactly? Do you want to have multi-members? Is it single member? And there's other important information. Then hit continue. For today, we are only going to have one member as my LLC only has one. And we're going to register the LLC in Texas. Then we're going to hit continue. Now we need to decide and think about what do we want our LLC to be taxed as? Do we want it to be taxed as a disregarded entity? Do we want to elect to have corporate status? Do we want to elect to have S corporation status? And so typically for an LLC, you can decide to have it taxed as an S 
corporation status or as a disregarded entity. And so moving on, then we're going to say we are requesting an EIN for a new business. And then we are going to hit continue. And now we're going to enter in our personal information, including our name, as well as our social security card number. Once all of that information is updated, then we are going to move on to say that we are managers of the LLC. And so in just this case, I'm putting Darcy first name and business as last name, but you do need to put your real information in. Okay, now we're gonna move on. We gotta include our address for our business. And then we're gonna hit continue. And then it's going to confirm that our address is correct. And we just wanna make sure that our mailing address as well as the address that we have for the business is the same. If it's different, you need to make sure to include that as well. Now we're gonna just include the details about our LLC. So who's the sole proprietor? You're going to include your name, then what's the business name? You're going to include that. And what county and what state are you forming your LLC in? You're going to include those details and then hit continue. And then you are going to give a little bit more background on the business. So does your business own a highway motor vehicle? No. Does your business involve gambling? No. Does your business need to file Form 720? No. Does your business sell or manufacture alcohol? No, not at all. Do you have or do you expect to have any employees? No. Moving on. Now we're going to look at what type of business do we have. And so in my case, I would choose finance. And then I move on. I'm going to say I want to receive the EIN confirmation letter via online versus mail. It's just quicker, faster that way. And so I'm going to click that, then hit continue. Here is an overview. And once I read over everything and confirm, then I'm going to hit submit at the bottom. Now you have your EIN and this was in less than 10 minutes. Congratulations. Your business is on its way and let's get to building.